Okay, so today I'm going to do a presentation over stained glass windows and gothic architecture. Um, this is basically going to be a lesson plan that I would use with middle school ages or elementary. It's pretty flexible, so many ages could be used with it. So the history of um, stained glass in the 12th century, gothic architecture began to span across Europe. Stained glass windows and sculptures were commonly used as decoration for gothic architecture. Stained glass replaced thick, dark walls of Romanesque churches. Um, stained glass windows were important to the architecture of the church because they allowed for light to flood in and light up the interior. Um, different innovations in gothic architecture were made for the purpose of adding more stained glass windows, such as pointed arches, rib vaults, and flying buttresses. Stained glass windows were multimedia stories of the time. Very few people could read, most people were illiterate, so stained glass windows offered illiterate Christians a glimpse into stories of the Bible. There were two standards of Gothic churches. Um, these two types of windows were the pointed arch and round rose window. And this is just some terms um, for the students to use in their project. Um, I go over tracery, which is a series of structural stone supports between sections of glass. Tracer, tracer, sorry, tracery helped support the weight of the wall, but still allowed windows to take up increasing amounts of space. All these elaborate designs would be tracery, and there's different types of which is um, some of this tracery, the four leaf clover looking glass is called a Um It looks like four lobes or leaves and is used as architectural tracery resembling a flower or clover like I said earlier. Um, some other types of tracery are the trefoil, quatrefoil, sink foil, cusp quatrefoil, pointed and cusp. Um, and this is a rose window at the top. It's circular and it's radi it radiates outwards, resembling flower petals. Um, the windows at the bottom would be called lancet windows. They're tall, narrow windows with point a pointed arch at the top. And to dividing these are a stone mullion, which um, let's see, divide is a division between the windows helps to support them, and it has, I uh, can't really read that, there. Um, as the windows became larger, arrangements of multiple mullions and openings were used both for structure and ornament. And this is some um, um, these are some art examples that I would show students. Um, this is basically telling the story of baby Jesus and also has different kings and like the, shows the importance of different people in this story. Um, it's from Stained Glass and Notre Dame, Ch or, I think I'm saying this right, Chartres, France. And here's a quatrefoil. It has, um, you can see that there's different stories within the glass here. It's really small. And this is a rose window. Strasbourg Cathedral in Alsace, France. And here's another window telling a different story. And this is a has a lancet windows, and this is a the Strasbourg Cathedral in Alsace, France. Also, so here is my lesson plan. Um, the big idea would be story. Um, basically, would be asking these essential questions: How can a story inform your perspective and understanding? What do stories teach people about the world? In what ways do stories connect people to one another? So for my, my objectives would be to describe how a story can inform your perspective or understanding, 
show what stories can teach people about the world and to illustrate what ways stories connect people to one another. So that's basically what I would want my students to um, focus on for this project. Um, the criteria for my project would be to design your own gothic stained glass window hanging. Um, they would have to utilize the terms that we went over earlier in the final project. And their design would have to be original, have to incorporate geometric shapes, um, and it would have to be creative. The design must um, also tell a story about uh, their life, so they'd have to think back in some kind of story that holds importance in their life and incorporate that into their glass window. So the steps for this project are to first to plan and trace out a design onto sketch paper and then they have to use film paper to transfer the design from paper onto the film. They have to fill in the design with color using sharpie markers and then they have to glue a piece of crinkle foil onto the cardstock um, and then they tape final, the final foam paper design onto that foil piece that's glued to the, or taped to the cardstock. It could be either glued or taped. Um, then they'd have to cut out their design and then punch a hole into their final piece and then tie in a thread hanging. The materials for the project are cardstock, transparency film, foil, a black sharpie, colored sharpies, paper for sketching, thread, tape, and glue. And this is just the grading rubric, and I'd be grading on creativity, use of elements and principles of design, craftsmanship, understanding of the of the project, achievement and completion of it, and anticipation. And we'd also be doing a critique. And this is just a video lesson, and it's pretty long, so I won't show the whole thing, but I'll show a part of it and kind of speed it up to show different parts. And I had um, my brother and sister work on this. So just some stitching. Considering their part line completed. Oh, I just skipped. Sorry, guys. And then they had to outline it in Sharpie onto transparency film. So they had their like their sketch underneath and their they just put the transparency film on top and they started outlining the um, sketch. And then they filled it in with color. And I wasn't able to show the whole thing, but they end up putting, you know, foil behind transparency film, putting cardstock onto the foil, and then cutting that out and putting um, hole punch again and putting thread on it. This is their final results. And this one over here on the left is my brother's, and this one on the right was my sister's. And for their stories, my brother told a story about how he likes to hike in the mountains, and so he has some snow in one window and some scenery of the mountains, and then um, in the middle and in the bottom too. And my sister's story was about picking a sunflower. And so she has a sunflower in the middle, a hand with a flower in it, and that's her face on one of the pieces of glass, and just different pictures in them. And I thought they did pretty good. And that's pretty much it.